I am Palak Agarwal of Vidayatullah National Law University and currently a legal intern at Lexus and Company. In today's video, I will be discussing about the concept of adultery. Whosoever has sexual intercourse with a person whom he believes to be the wife of someone else without the consent of such other man, such sexual intercourse not amounting to rape, then the person is guilty of adultery. Adultery is mentioned in Section 497 of the Indian Penal Code. It happens when a valid marriage is in existence. In different personal laws, the concept of adultery is treated very differently. Like in Muslims and in Hindus, it is treated differently. This treatment of adultery differently is violative of Article 21 of the Constitution of India. It violates the private rights of husband and wife since its inception. Marriage is sacrament in Hindu law, whereas it is a contract in Muslim law. In Hindu law, divorce is considered as a misdemeanor and can be used as a basis of divorce. What are your opinions on adultery being a ground of divorce? And according to you, what exactly is adultery? Yes, exactly what is adultery? In a layman language, adultery is having sexual face with someone other than the marital partner. Adultery was considered as a heinous crime and in some regions the person committing adultery was drowned. However, in some regions only the women were punished and the men weren't punished. What are your thoughts on adultery being a crime? In Sharia law in Iran and Afghanistan, stones were pelted till the person died. Stones were pelted on the person who committed adultery. In adultery, one spouse at fault and is responsible for the dissolution of the union. In many regions, it is considered as a felony and in others, it is not. A person accused of adultery has the right to prove that he has not committed any sexual intercourse with anybody else. What is the position of adultery in Hindu law? According to Section 13.1, Hindu Marriage Act 1955, it is a legitimate reason for judicial separation and divorce. Even a single act of adultery entitles the other party seek judicial separation under section 10 of the Hindu Marriage Act 1955. If a man's first marriage is void and then he marries for the second time, and the second marriage is a valid one and if he continues to have sexual relations with his first wife, then it will be considered adultery. The second wife can go to the court and ask for judicial separation under section 13 Hindu Marriage Act. There are many grounds which can prove adultery like circumstantial evidence or birth of a child having a venereal disorder or party's admission. In India, the cases of adultery take a large amount of time to be solved, though there are some exceptions with the cases are solved immediately. Husband commits adultery shortly after marriage. A pregnant woman commits adultery. The course with sister's wife, adultery after desertion of wife in adultery, burden of proof lies on the person who files the petition and he must file the petition beyond reasonable doubt. If the petitioner knows his or her spouse is living in an adulterous relationship with someone else and still he continues to live with a guilty person as a husband and wife, then he cannot go to the court and ask to solve the union. As in such instance, it is said that the applicant has proved the marriage and be either treated as a criminal or a civil case. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you liked it. In my next video, I'll be discussing whether an offer to a contract can be accepted silently or not. Thank you.